I knew it. You didn't know that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, right here. All right, mom. Are they safe? Right. Okay. Oh, I know what we're doing. Let's take a yeah. step closer. <laughs>
Up here. Look here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for all you aspiring members of the paparazzi, this is your opportunity. Get those cameras clicking because the clock is ticking. <laughs> This is probably a good time, Jordan, for you to pass off that bouquet. <laughs> okay, Carson, take her hand. Pretend you like her. I love it. I love it. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to an event years in the making. Let me hear you now. Are you ready for Jordan and Carson to finally get married? <laughs> yeah. On their behalf, welcome and thank you for being here at this celebration of their love for one another. Mm -hmm. They've asked each of you to witness and celebrate this public declaration of the private commitment they've already made to one another. Eight years ago, they started their life's journey together. During the ensuing years, they shared many life experiences. Their circle of friends grew and strengthened. They learned to love deeply and unconditionally, and they discovered a reassuring strength in one another's arms. The fact that so many of you have turned out amidst this uh, continuing pandemic is a testament to the amazing amount of love and support that they have. Jordan and Carson stand now before those that they love and those that love them. Those that have raised them, taught them, supported them, shaped them, and given them much happiness, warmth, and guidance through the various stages of their lives. Most importantly, you've collectively given them not only the capacity to love, but to understand it and the desire to return it. Because of that, Jordan and Carson are able to stand now beside each other to take in the limitless wealth that you've all given them in spirit, in time, in love, and to return it. 
not just to themselves, not just to you, but to the memory of those past and to the hope of those yet to be. Without everyone here today, no one is here today, and for that, Jordan and Carson, both knowing that language often fails emotion, say simply and sincerely, thank you all for being here to celebrate their big day. Now they've come together to learn the best of what each has to offer, appreciating their differences, indeed strengthened by them, and confirming that being together is far better than being apart from one another. They chose this specific location for their wedding ceremony because they want the celebration of their marriage to be casual and fun, unique with traditions, and they want to share with you a day of celebration and make memories that will be with them for a lifetime. Today, tonight, it's not just about them, but all of you as well, because each of you has given something special to their lives, and that contribution will forever be appreciated. They want you to enjoy their company, each other's co company, and to have good food and drink all night. <laughs> okay, now that's supposed to be good food and drink, not drink all night, but <laughs> we're kind of near Carlton Place, aren't we? <laughs> At this time, Jordan and Carson have asked me to acknowledge those other loved ones who could not be present to share in their joy, but who are with them in heart, mind, and spirit, and whom we are certain also celebrate with them. Even though they're not here physically, they're part of the foundation that makes Jordan and Carson the people they are today, and they feel their love and support. They've also asked me on their behalf to thank their parents, Marie, Shelley, and Brian, for giving their blessings for this marriage. They've learned many things from their parents whose love, support, and nurturing is such an essential part of who they are today. They thank you for being their first teachers of the powers and possibilities of love. And it's from you that they've learned the true meaning of love friendship and family. And I think the parents deserve a round of applause for the great job they've done. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long time. <laughs> Today is a celebration. A celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. You don't have to have a ceremony to have a marriage, and when you think about it, the whole thing is kind of weird, right? <laughs> You're standing on a stage, looking fancy, holding flowers, and being stared at by pretty much anybody who's ever meant anything to you during the past 20-something years. So why do we do it? The marriage ceremony has been an important feature across nearly every culture, religion, generation, and society. We have thousands of important moments that happen throughout our lives, but this one is regarded as being so critical that we share it with others. And why this moment? Because despite all our differences, love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth. No matter who we are, where we've come from, what we believe, we know this one thing, love is what we're doing right. And that's why Jordan and Carson are both standing here, and that's why you're all here to watch them stand up here. We've all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. So Jordan, Carson, a marriage, like any journey, is all about simple steps, sometimes taken side by side, sometimes one following the other, but always together, like a dance. And today is all about celebrating steps. Today is just one more step amongst many that you've already taken. Yet, it's a step for the greatest hope and faith, an important step as you journey across the landscape of life, a step that will cause you to walk with greater understanding, to journey with a deeper sense of purpose and commitment to realize just how deep your love, your friendship is. So may the vows that you make today be that first step as you dance the dance of lovers as husband and wife, and may your love be rediscovered daily as you journey together in this adventure called marriage, one step at a time. So now we come to the expression of the intent. This is the legal part. This is where we find out if they really, really still want to go through with this. So if either of you are going to bail, this is the time to start running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jordan, Carson, are you ready to enter into this marriage believing the love you share and your faith in each other will endure all things? We do. We do. And Carson, you've chosen Jordan to be your wife. Will you love and respect her? Will you be honest with her always and stand by her through whatever may come? I will. Jordan, you've chosen Carson to be your husband. Will you love and respect him? Will you be honest with him always and stand by him through whatever may come? I will. 
Carson, will you continue to be okay with the fact that she'll never know what or where she wants to go out and eat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, as long as there's leftovers. <laughs> Jordan, do you promise to always love him despite his habit of leaving dirty protein shaker cups in the kitchen sink? <laughs> Yes, as long as he cleans the dishes after I cook dinner. <laughs> Carson, will you accept that Jordan will continue to fall asleep while you watch movies and pretend to be awake? <laughs> yes, as long as I can sleep in on the weekends. <laughs> Jordan, will you lovingly accept that for Carson, cleanliness is, shall we say, a flexible concept, <laughs> and that there's order in his pile of clothes on the bedroom floor. Yes, as long as he kisses me goodbye or in the forehead, even if I'm sleeping. <laughs> and Carson, will you support Jordan's plan to pre-plan the plan before planning the post-plan of the original plan, remembering that, yes, proper planning yes. prevents piss poor performance. Yes, as long as there's booze, McMuffin. <laughs> <laughs> and Jordan, will you support him as assistant GM to all his fantasy sports leagues? Yes, as long as he doesn't kawaii about it when he loses. Oh Y'all know what I mean? <laughs> uh, okay, that. after that, that you deserve yeah. the surprise skill testing question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're ready. You promise <laughs> Just to love fun. each other longer than it'll take. The Toronto Maple Leafs ever win the Stanley Cup again? <laughs> oh, yes, we will. No, no, yes. <laughs> come on. Good choice. Only been 53 years. Many more to come. <laughs> and, and this is a time to remember that Moses led his people out of the wilderness <laughs> after only 40 years. <laughs> so now we come to your vows. Continuous. And the symbolic <laughs> vows that you're about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know, all those things we hoped and dreamt and promised, well, I meant every word of it. So turn, face each other, hold hands, and look at one another deeply. And remember this moment in time. No, Before be this moment, you've been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, lover, fellow adventurer, and even teacher. For you've learned much from one another in these years. Mm -hmm. Now, you'll say a few words to take you across the threshold of life. And things will never quite be the same between you. For after these vows, you'll say to the world, This is my husband, this is my wife. And may I remind you that what you promised today must be renewed tomorrow and every day forward. So now I'm going to pass to you the vows that you've prepared. Oh, perfect. So there's yours, Jordan. And there's yours. So you might want to turn out to project out to everybody. Okay. It's going first. Whatever that. All right. I promise to love you more than your family loves wine. <laughs> Okay, but I promise to love you more than your family like to have kitchen parties. Okay, not bad, but I promise to love you more than your mom loves horses. That's nothing. I promise to love you more than your mom loves cats. <laughs> That's also nothing. I, love to lo I promise to love you more than you love cookies. <laughs> Easy. I promise to love you more than you love Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> Okay, nice. Well, I promise to love you. <laughs> She's right about that one, okay. <laughs> well, I promise to love you more than you love finding out who the last rose is for The Bachelor. <laughs> That's a good one. But I promise to love you more than watching the Raptors win the NBA championships. Oh, damn. Ooh. All right, you, you win this round. Damn it, you win. But more, <laughs> but more important than all that, I promise to stand by you at all times to never willingly steer you wrong and to love you to the end. And it is no secret that the first time I laid my eyes on you, I knew that you were the one. You, Jordan, bring out the very best of me, and I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I do win. <laughs> but more important than that, you're my best friend, my lover, my courage, my strength, and what makes me the happiest in the entire world. I want to spend the rest of my life with you travel the world with you and grow very old with you this is as official as it gets i love you so much <laughs> give them a hand for these awesome vows <laughs> well done guys gotcha, man. You got it. <laughs> so now we come to the exchange of rings and i would invite 
Ahmed, the best man to please prepare them. The wedding ring is the outward and spiritual visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond which unites two hearts Dude, and endless love. are you kidding love. me? It's worn on the third finger because of an ancient Greek belief that a vein from that finger goes directly to the heart. You're supposed to look mad. And may your ring be always the symbol of the unbroken circle of love. Who has it? Okay. So now that we found the rings. <laughs> Okay, so Ahmed, if you'd give the rings to Jordan and Carson. Do you guys want one first or both of them at the same time? What does matter? One. <laughs> this for Jordan. Yeah, that's for Jordan. I know. Okay, so Carson, if you'd repeat after me, Jordan, I give you this ring. Jordan, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. And our partnership in life. And our partnership in life. I promise to accept you for who you are. I promise to accept you for who you are. Let's see what you want to say. Were you going to add something there? Stubborn, yet the most beautiful woman I know. <laughs> <laughs> you have my heart always and slide it on. You have my okay. heart Okay, so you Jordan, have my order if you take Carson's <laughs> ring. I know, it's hard to get on. You didn't... And repeat after me. Carson, I give you this ring. Carson, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my commitment. As a symbol of my commitment. And our partnership in life. And our partnership in life. I promise to accept you for who you are. I promise to accept you for who you are. Although forgetful, the funniest person I know. <laughs> you have my heart always. And my heart always. And now, Carson, if you take Jordan's engagement ring, this ring is a symbol of promise and intent. Now the intention is realized and the promise fulfilled. So please place this ring above Jordan's wedding band to symbolize that the love that brought you together will always protect and sustain your marriage. So Jordan, Carson, we all know that your visions of the future are not identical, but always complementary. John Lennon once said, a dream, you dream alone? Eh, it's only a dream. A dream you dream together, that is reality. And for you, that reality officially starts now, but we all know it started quite some time ago. You've expressed your love to one another through the commitment and promises that you've just made. It's with these in mind that by the powers vested in me, by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you can seal the deal any way you see fit. <laughs> okay. So now, you may now seal your vows with a... Yeah! It's my honor and a great delight to be the first one to now finally introduce his husband and wife, Carson and Jordan, partners in life for life. Please greet them warmly. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> <laughs> we did it! <laughs> that was awesome. awesome. One of the kids. Yeah. <laughs> we <could. laughs> oh, I forgot about the song. Are we going inside or? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. It worked. <laughs> Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> 